Laurie Forbes is a man who's passionate about rescuing historic buildings. He was at Cargill's Castle today as the ruins were scanned using the 3D laser mapping technology his company's recently purchased. The castle is a heritage building built out of primitive reinforced concrete floors and unreinforced masonry walls and could potentially collapse at any time. Once it's gone, it's gone. There are no drawings for it, I believe, only photographs. So it's an ideal opportunity to uh, measure it up with a 3D laser and get a really good accurate record of it and then any form of strengthening which is to take place for holding the structure up at a later date can then be designed around those drawings. The data captured today will be used to construct a 3D model of the building as it stands and the use of the ZEB1 makes the job quick and relatively straightforward. Just like any tool, some tools make things um, a lot faster, some make the, the job a lot neater. So for us, it's, it's a tool that combines both of those. Back from Perth to train a new operator in the scanning technology, in Bramwell says having such a portable system means planning your route to get the best data. It's a very dilapidated building and there's a lot of obstacles in the way and a um, chance of materials collapsing as well, so we need to really pay attention to that and make sure everybody's safe. The Cargill's Castle Trust aims to retain the ruins as part of Dunedin's cultural and recreational history. The 3D model will help with any further decisions on strengthening and preservation and hopefully in the future all of Dunedin can enjoy its beauty. Dee Karen, 39 Dunedin News.